Chris Zoller, Extension Educator, Ag Natural Resources here in Tuscarawas County. And at Spillman Farms, we have a corn seeding rate plot this year. I'm David Spillman. Um, live on a grain farm in Bolivar, Ohio, Tuscarawas County. And I farm with my two brothers and my uncle Eric. My name is uh, Matt Spillman. Uh, work part owner in Spillman Farms here in Bolivar. Well, when we started this project initially, you know, when Efields first started, I came to Spillman's and I said, here's some options. Uh, basically, we're looking at soybean or corn seeding rates, and are you interested? And, sure. Uh, it's, it's something that's fairly easy to do, so the first time you do it, a project, it's a good one to start with. And over the years we've done it, they've said, hey, we, you know, we want to switch this up a little bit, maybe change those rates than what was printed in the protocol, for instance. And so, as long as we follow the protocol, the research protocol, we can put in different seeding rates and find those rates that are best suited for this farm. I think our fourth year, third or fourth year, doing seeding rate trials. Uh, it covers approximately 20 acres, give or take. And I did uh, five treatments, 24,000, 27, 30, 33, and 36,000. And uh, I did four replications of each. Now the seeding rate trial gives us an idea of across our farm on where we need to be maintaining a yield goal that we want to hit, but also being cost productive on our seed inputs. In today's world, you got to look at it. When you look at prices where they are, input costs where they are, it's a pretty thin margin. So anything you can do to maximize yield, minimize costs, improves returns. Well, on-farm research for us is, uh, I think it's most beneficial because it's our, it's our data, it's our research. And it answers questions that local growers have. And so that work is shared locally across the state, and in fact, it's, it's shared across the nation. And so that impact has, is pretty broad. Do it. it, it's not that hard to do. I mean, for us, the technology we have, for a seeding rate trial, all I have to do is remember to, to hit the button to ch change the, the seeding rate. So, yeah, it's not hard to do. The trial was planned on May the 7th, and included five seeding rates of 24,000 seeds per acre, 27,000, 30,000, 33,000, and 36,000 seeds per acre. These five seeding rates were replicated four times across the field, and the trial was harvested on October the 1st, and yields ranged from 118 bushels per acre at the low end to a high of 121 bushels per acre, and there was no statistically significant differences in yield. An economic analysis was completed to determine which treatment achieved the highest return above seed cost. In this trial, the 24,000 seeds per acre achieved the highest return at $369 above seed cost. Dave, tell me a little bit of what it's like to work with the best ag extension agent in the state. The best one, huh? The only one I Don't know? Don't get it better. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. No, I, I really enjoy working with Chris. Uh, he, he makes it interesting and fun, and it's always fun to conduct research, so. And, uh, well, I've known Chris for, well, since I was a little guy. I mean, he worked with my dad and my uncle, and uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of good information uh, to come from the extension, and, and I'm glad we can be part of it. Want to learn more? Visit the link on the screen to get your copy of this year's eField report.